What's up guys, I am Black Ops Amazing, welcome back to another Zombies video where today the 6th and final issue of the Call of Duty Zombies comics has released. And as always, like we get with all of the comics, we have had a brand new loading screen. So if you go on to enjoy today's video, a like rating if you feel like it would be appreciated. Make sure you are subscribed to stay up to date with the latest Zombies videos on the channel. Let me know your thoughts on this in the comments section below, but without further ado, when you're ready, let's do this. So this on screen now is the brand new loading screen, but it's quite different to the usual ones that we've been getting. Usually it's like a combination of two different maps like Nactar and Toten and Mob of the Dead. And this is a bit strange because we've actually already had one with Mob of the Dead in it. And then we had ones like Kino, Ascension and other things like that. But this one, as you can see, is the Mob of the Dead loading screen, but the right side, the right page has been ripped off and we now get to see what's underneath it. So this is the original old loading screen up on screen now. As you see, everything on the left side is intact. It is the same, but then on the right side, the page has been ripped and underneath we see this. Now I haven't done a read through of the comic on my channel, although I have read it for myself and some of this in here does relate and link to the comic. So if you haven't read it, then there's probably going to be a few spoilers. But taking a look at this, let's see what we have. Up the top right hand corner, we have a coil. I don't exactly know what this means or what it's saying, but clearly over the two characters just below it, there is a outline outside both of them. Whether this coil is relating to that, I don't know. If you guys have any idea as to what this coil could mean or what it's showing, let me know in the comments section below. But as I said, below this, we have two characters. The one on the right, the taller one, looks like Rick Toffin, the Origins version, purely because you can kind of see the outline of his face and around his belt. I don't know, I'm just thinking that's Rick Toffin. And then on the left, the smaller character, the question is, who exactly is this? Now, obviously this loading screen is related to Mob of the Dead. And since we know that Richtofen met up with Stanley Ferguson, where Richtofen told the guard to build this lab underneath Alcatraz, I'm thinking that maybe on the left, that is Stanley Ferguson. But for me, he looks just a little bit too small. I don't know, Stanley in the trailers looked a little bit taller, and you would think if this was him, wouldn't he be wearing his warden's hat and his warden clothing? It would make sense for this to be Stanley, but for some reason, I don't think it is. And actually, I'm thinking that maybe this is Richtofen handing the blood vials over to his other self in Origins. On the left is the version of Richtofen that we play as in Origins. Then on the right is the version of him that gives himself the blood vials. And we can see this in the Zombies comics where Richtofen, as we know, he teleported back to Origins to hand himself the blood vials and he told that version of himself to keep these safe as he will need them in the future. Obviously the blood vials that he handed over to himself were the ones of Finn and Sal from Mob of the Dead. And as you see from this image it looks like they are trading something. Their hands are together. It looks like Richtofen is giving that other character something. So for that reason I think that possibly this could be Richtofen handing the other version of himself the Mob of the Dead blood vials. But maybe it's not. Like I said, maybe that's Stanley Ferguson. Maybe that's someone else. It's not clear. Now, obviously, just to the left of that, we have the blood vials. But then also, we have a prison weapon. This is a razor put on to a toothbrush. It's a popular weapon that people make in prison. But you can also see next to this, there's an arrow with a triangle. I really have no idea what this triangle is. But I'm thinking that this maybe is the weapon that the characters used to kill Al. We know that when the Mob of the Dead characters escape their cells, Al's plan for them to escape off the rooftop using a plane never came to be. The plan fell apart and so Sal, Finn and Billy all turned against Al. They made makeshift prison weapons, lured him to the rooftop and they killed him. Maybe this weapon, the toothbrush with a razor on it, kind of like a knife, are the makeshift weapons that these characters used to kill Al. Al. The only thing I still don't quite get is why there's a triangle and an arrow. Could that be related to the afterlife or maybe even the Illuminati? Just below this, there's some writing that says, I have a secret and must follow the plan. More than likely, I'm assuming that was written by Richtofen. There's also some more writing which says this symbol. I can't get it out of my head. That, I assume, was said or written by the Mob of the Dead characters after they've gone into purgatory. We know that this symbol follows them everywhere 
they go. This, to me, if I don't know if I'm wrong, kind of looks like the washing machine that we see in the laundry room. I mean, it looks a little bit different, but right now off my head, I can't exactly think what else that would be. If you guys know, let me know in the comments section below, but then right down the bottom of the page, obviously we've got Richtofen coming out of a portal, and then just to the left of him, we have the stasis chambers, I think I'm pronouncing that correctly, that our characters are kept in. And that is everything on this page, it's really interesting. There's some more stuff on the left there, but we can't can't quite see what that is. Now you might have also noticed that actually there's more behind this page. To the left here it says zombie and then it says parliament gather for emergency meeting. And we've actually seen this before. Under Eisendraka on the table there is this newspaper about an outbreak in London and that parliament are gathering for a meeting. Now obviously we've had no London zombies map so far. We haven't really got anything else in zombies relating to London so maybe this is hinting towards the next map. Possibly Black Ops 4, whatever the next Zombies game is, are we going to London? I mean, there's gotta be a reason why Treyarch keeps showing us this. It's possibly just to show how big this zombie outbreak is, the scale of it, that it's happening all around the world, even in London, but I'm thinking there's a bit more to this. How cool would it actually be if we did go to London, if we maybe had a Zombies map in Parliament for Black Ops 4? And considering that with every first map that we get for Zombies, not everyone, but most of them with Black Ops 3, we had it with Black Ops 2, and even you could kind of say with Black Ops 1 on 5, we always have a different cast of characters, usually a celebrity cast or just some randoms. We never start off with the original crew, so if London is going to be our first Zombies map for Black Ops 4 or whatever the next Treyarch game is, more than likely we are not playing with the original characters. We can pretty much almost guarantee that we are going to be seeing them again, that they are going to be coming back, but with the first zombies map 4 i'm just gonna say it's called black ops 4 since we don't know but more than likely we are playing in london maybe inside parliament itself or just outside and if so a celebrity cast how weird would it be if we played as the government of the uk i think there's way too much evidence here for this just to be a random easter egg this definitely has something and since we've seen no relation to it so far in our zombie storyline this has got to be something for the future. Treyarch are teasing London for a reason. Like I said, with the new Zombies comic, so far everything has not really been too interesting. It's been pretty dull. It's just been ripped off and sending our characters on a journey to collect the Canorium. Obviously they went to Broken Arrow, they went to Zero Base, and then finally they went to the Empty Earth where they found the Canorium inside Maxus's facility. And now in Comic 6, they've got the Canorium and they are bringing it back to Richtofen. Obviously all this time, the voice in Stuhlinger's head has been guiding him and telling him what to do. We know that voice is Richtofen, but what you didn't know is which version of Richtofen is guiding Stuhlinger. And the answer to that is the one that we kill in the giant. When the younger version of Richtofen comes out of the teleporter in the giant to shoot his older self, we see him then bend down over his dead body. It's clear he doesn't collect his soul in the summoning key because Eddie was already a child in the house before that. So Richtofen, when bending down over his body, was actually doing something to himself to turn that version of him into Undead Richtofen. And we've been seeing all through the Zombies comics, this version of Undead Richtofen has been following the transit crew. Undead Richtofen has been guiding the transit crew, it helped them get the Cronorium, and then it also collected their blood vials and gave that blood to this version of Richtofen. And then once Richtofen had the blood, he travelled back to Origins to give a sample to that version of Richtofen. He then went back to the transit characters, put them on stasis, and whilst he was doing that, he also met the characters that teleported in Zetsubo no Shima. In Zetsubo no Shima, at the end, when we see our characters teleport after defeating Takio, they teleported to Richtofen, where he gave them the blood vials, and then obviously they went back. It's all very confused and I think I'm gonna have to do a video explaining all of this because right now I think it's a little bit too much to explain. I think the best way you can understand it is to simply just read the comic for now but even then there's still a lot more things that you have to join join together to fully understand it. It, it is really confusing. This comic gives us a ton of of information. So anyway, that is everything off this new loading screen, the final one for comic episode 6. This has been really awesome, and this is pretty much it. Now that's all the new stuff we have for zombies for 
over another year. If you've enjoyed the video, a like rating would be appreciated. I think this definitely deserves it. Let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Try and explain a few more things that I couldn't. Make sure you are subscribed. We are almost at 270. No, wait, wait, what? 370,000 subscribers, which is amazing. Thank you all for the support. If you're not subbed, you can help me to reach 400k. Leave a like rating, and of course, we'll see you all in the next video. Thank you, and goodbye.